Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We're doing some quick updates here in Traffic Speed. I was here last week, but I'm gonna do a continuation video. This is the Mach 1 of my brother that we've been building. Doesn't look like much now, but hopefully in the next five weeks, it should be on the ground and for testing. So, binakal mo na to? Hindi, fiber po siya. Pero, pero nasa lobby lang. Nasa lobby lang. Tapos, pero nakabuka siya na ganun. Last week, we were stripping this car down. We're now gonna get it back to painting and spray the inside, change the color of some of the parts when the owner already finalized it before. Over here is our super performance. We're still missing the injector socket. I'm gonna see if we can message Borla now and figure out what needs to be done. My brother's car is still missing front brakes, the windshield, and then the wiring harness for the engine so that we can redo the engine harness just to make it cleaner. This one is uh, from Carporn. We're converting it to a manual. They finally got the manual transmission. Inside the car, we're just working on the clutch pedal, the slave master, and working it out. So hopefully this one will start in a week or so. This guy just needs an upgraded fan for the radiator. This one's having some paint issues that we just need to revisit. This is on full assembly. This will be done in about two weeks. This is a nice color. It's like a cream white color. Over here, we have a classic uh, 65 or 66. This one has issues with the torque converter. We need to figure out what to do with it. And lastly, here in the floor is this bullet style green Mustang. I love the color combination on that car. I think it looks superb. And yep, yeah, reminds me of the bullet Mustang. Well, that's it for now for this update. I'm gonna be back again next week and we're gonna be showing you guys what we're doing or updates of the cars in progress next week, okay? We're here now in Classic Speed. I am with Joey. I am giving her a tour or a field trip to see what kind of work we do here in Angeles City. Giving her a short uh, guided tour on the facilities that we provide or the, the services that we provide here. So over here is the paint prep area. Now prepping a Camaro. I wonder if this is my Camaro. This is a 69, different taillights. 69 versus the 68, which is round. Ours is a 68, this is the 69 Charger. This one goes out to Cavite. Over here is our four GTs. These are the GT40. 40 because it's only 40 inches high. Black one and a martini one. Waiting for a few more parts for these cars so we can get them running already. Over here in the main showroom floor is where we do all the assembly. So right now, as you can see, we're assembling this uh, 67 right here, the 69 over there, another 67, a Camaro with an LS7 supercharge, our old 66 Mustang, which we're repairing the harmonic balancer, my 67, which I'm gonna be selling soon, and another GT40. Another 67 over there. Just notice that the cars don't have side mirrors, which means I need to order side mirror, which means I need to find a way to adapt it on. Opening the door real quick. Headers have not yet been fully piped in. This is running a Quake manual five speed gearbox. True mid engine sports car and look how tight the cabin is. So the steering wheel comes off so that you can squeeze your way in. I am 5'11 and I fit, weirdly enough. Uh, doesn't look like you'd fit, but I do fit. The seats are not adjustable. They're sort of fixed in place and you just work with it. It feels like a very low slung position, as I said again, GT40, because the height of the car from the road is only 40 inches. Always watch for your head or your hair when closing the door. Yes, that could happen. This particular 67 has a Roush supercharged motor. It's having problems with the intake here, which means you need to cut it there and find a way to lower it so that the hood can go back on. LS7 with a supercharger. 
had some issues tuning this it has to go back on the dyno again soon and then i have uh c2 body on chassis there which i need to start buying parts for and my camaro chassis from roadster shop on a sexy chassis with an ls3 motor so all the interior work happens up here and down there and then all the assembly the main spring booth where we do the final paint happens here and then our office is up there so that's a quick tour here for classic speed Testing another charger. I have a special passenger with me. So we're just strolling through and the city test driving the car just to make sure that nothing sounds or it's not overheating. But so far with the new upgrade of the EFI system. over here is vapor blasting this chassis that we can prep it and look for rust. I'm gonna be updating you guys with the Camaro that I've been building. So this is the 69 Camaro I've been building. It's got a Roadster shop chassis, foots wheels from MHD, and I was supposed to order wider wheels but it looks like the wheels that I've ordered fit the body. So not too happy about that. I wanted to do a wider body conversion, but we'll work with it. This one is using an LS3 power plant that we've made it already. And now it's just about the body work and ordering all the parts that we need to complete the chassis.
The only thing left original is front bumper, the front fascia, this part. Fender panels are new. This is still original, as you can see the paint. We've had to strip the roof and check everything. I think the roof has been stripped down, but this is a new quarter also, which is welded onto this part. Trunk is still the same, but everything about the flooring is being painted. The nice thing with the Roadster Shop chassis, it uses uh, like C6 or Z06 uh, front upright knuckles mated to these coilovers. Although we have lowered the coilovers all the way and the car still rides a little high for me. So I don't know if I have to request for lower springs or maybe even bag this car. I'm not quite sure yet. This car that I'm building is more for a track toy rather than just a cruiser. It's gonna be handling really well because we've made it the whole under chassis into a subframe rather than using the unibody. This is a 67 that we're also restoring. This is a 65 convertible. I don't know if you guys remember this 67 Mustang. We had this in Carporn Racing. We've now converted this to a manual gearbox because the automatic gearbox really wasn't cutting it out and it was just making it harder to drive. It wouldn't shift and select properly. So now we've converted it to manual. We're just fixing some of the brake boosters and stuff. This car will be for sale later on. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, moving to my brother's car, we're just waiting for updates on the front brakes and the wiring harness that we need to wire the engine loom in. Uh, do not like those red patches on the carpet. Gotta change those. So we've been working on these two cars quietly. We have some issues with how the bell housing sits and I guess where the chassis is. So I'm guessing underneath. Yeah, you have to notch it. Okay. I'm going to be marking the paint and seeing what are the defects so that the team can actually go over it. I'm going to be using these orange stickers. There's going to be a lot. I saw so many small things that we need to fix. Just finished marking all the spots that we need to do a spot repair or sand it down and color, color sand it and then do the clear coat again. If not, um, we're gonna try to save it and I mean respray it if we really, really can't fix it. Uh, it's good though that the, the girls are helping me, they have sharp eyes also. And then after this, we're gonna go back to doing the mechanical work and then just finishing the car up for the owner. Hopefully in the next two to three weeks, the car is done and we can turn it over.